everyone, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to do a review of Bunny's That Lunch subscription box. So I'm really excited to do this video for you. This is video number four in our series, Fantastic Products, which is a series dedicated to helping rabbit lovers find awesome rabbit products. Also, just a little disclaimer, if you hear any noise, that is Milo because he's really interested in what that box has to offer. <laughs> I wanna give a big thank you to Bunny's That Lunch for sending us this subscription box to review. However, I would also like to mention that all opinions in this video are my own. Without further ado, let's see what Bunny's That Lunch has to offer. You can see the box here. Here. It's really really cute. I love just the little design on there. I think that's adorable And I'll just hold it up for you so you can kind of see an overview of the box like that It's really cool There's definitely packed with a lot of stuff and Milo has been really trying to figure out what's in here So I'm excited for him to try some of these things out Also, if you want to see Milo trying these things out make sure you watch to the end of the video So you can see Milo trying out some of the awesome items the first thing I'll show you these. So this is a cute little thing of a bunny. Sorry if you can see that there. That's from Milo, actually. He tried to chew that when I opened the box, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> but then there's this cute little note, and it says, Hello, everyone. Thank you for ordering from Bunnies at Lunch. We hope this box brings so many binkies. Share your pictures with us using hashtag Bunnies at Lunch for a chance to be featured on our page. So if you can hear that, yep, that's Milo over there. He's very interested in this box. <laughs> Um, okay, so the first thing is these boredom breaker nibble sticks and it says they're stimulating gnaw toys for rabbits, hamsters, and other small animals and this is from the brand Rosewood. So I am really excited to try these out. Whatever this is, Milo is really interested in because he just pulled this out of the box so I will show you this next. This has marigold, rose petals, cornflowers, and sunflowers in it and I'm guessing you can just put this on top of your hay as kind of a foraging material. So I'm really, really excited to try that out. I'm sure Milo will really like it. Actually, I know he'll like it because he kept trying to go after it so he definitely can smell it in here. <laughs> the next thing is this Burgess Excel Country Garden Herbs. So once again, I think you can just kind of put these on top of your hay just as another stimulating kind of thing. Okay, the next thing is the Selective Naturals Garden Sticks, and this says they're rich in natural ingredients, ideal for hand feeding, interaction, and bonding with pea mints. So I'm excited for Milo to try these out. I think I think I say that about everything. I'm excited for Milo to try them out because I really am. These are some awesome products they have in these boxes for sure. Okay, lastly is this Boredom Breaker Carrot Play Patch, and this is really cool. This is kind of a big toy in here, and you can see up here just what the picture of it looks like, and you'll see Milo playing with it later in this video, but this looks like it has a lot of aspects to it, and I'm really excited to try this out. This is definitely a really nice toy, and I think that with all of the things that they have in this box, it's definitely worth your money. In conclusion, I would say Bunnies That Lunch has a lot of awesome products in their box and are totally worth your money. There's just a lot of items in there that could satisfy any kind of rabbit's needs or wants, so I would definitely recommend them to you. And without further ado, let's see what Milo has to say about the different products in the Bunnies at Lunch box. So here you can see Milo playing with the carrot play patch, which he definitely really enjoyed. However, I would caution you just to make sure that your rabbit isn't eating too much of it or really any of it because I did see some extra glue on the side and I wouldn't want the rabbit to ingest that. I just don't think that that's really too good for them. But Milo still did really enjoy it. It just has to be supervised. And then here's the boredom breakers, which Milo definitely really enjoyed. And I didn't think he would just because that's not the typical toy he would like, but he did enjoy kind of checking those out. His favorite thing is definitely the Selective Naturals Garden Sticks. They smelled really good to me, which was a pleasant surprise because usually rabbit items don't smell that good. But he also really enjoyed it and was just kind of chomping on that. And I think that that was a really good addition to the box. And I'm definitely going to give Milo more of these in the future. Then you can see right here is just the flower petal foraging mix and I just put some of that in his hay and I don't really think Milo got the concept of foraging because he kind of just took little pieces out of it and he just didn't really seem like he wanted to go through it so I don't really know maybe he just doesn't get that. This is the first time he's ever tried a foraging material so I'm not really quite sure but I did put that in there and he did like the mix that was in there, he just didn't really go through his hay to get it, so I don't really know what he's doing. You can see right here, yeah, he just kind of was picking stuff out and looking at it, and yeah, so I don't think he got that concept, but that's fine. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that he liked it, so I gave him some of the petal, and he just ran away with it like it was a treat. So 
I don't think, yeah, he really got that, but he did enjoy it, so I wouldn't say that it's not worth it or anything. I definitely think that it is. And here's him with the carrot play patch again. I wouldn't say that just because the carrot play patch isn't ideal doesn't mean that the box isn't worth it. I still would recommend the box. You just have to be careful to make sure that everything in the box is completely safe and your rabbit isn't ingesting something they shouldn't.